Good morning, friends. It is Miss Miller, and here we are again reading a grassland habitat. Now, yesterday we focused on the plants in the grassland or in the prairie, and today we're going to focus on the animals that we find in a grassland habitat or a prairie habitat. All right, so right here it says everything they need. It says that plants and animals need air, water, and food to stay alive. They have everything they need in their habitats. This ground squirrel found food to eat in its habitat. A habitat home. Some animals have homes. Their homes are in their habitats. This badger's home is underground. The badger sleeps in its home. So just from reading those two pages, we found out that not only does a ground squirrel live in the grassland habitat, but so does a badger. Grasslands are habitats. They are open, flat areas of land. Many plants grow in grasslands. Most of these plants are grasses. There are very few trees in grasslands. Grasslands called prairies. This book is about grasslands called prairies. Prairies are found in Canada and the United States. Plants and animals live in the prairies. These bison live in the prairies. So from reading these two pages, I know that bison also live in the prairies. I'm going to skip over these couple pages about prairie plants. And we're going on to prairie animals. Many animals live in the prairies. They find food in the prairies. They also find places to live. Which prairie animals have you seen before? So on these two pages, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different animals that we know that live in the grasslands. So let's see, we have an eagle, a prairie dog, a proghorn, a ground squirrel, a coyote, a mouse, a rattlesnake, and a butterfly. And just by looking at these pictures that, that the illustrator put in here, you can tell that there are ducks and there are geese and there are elk. And then we talk about the different types of animals that we have. We have herbivores and carnivores and omnivores. Herbivores are those that eat, herbivores eat only plants. Carnivores eat other animals and then omnivores, well, they eat both plants and other animals. And then it talks about how some animals are safer at night than they are during the day. That they can blend in or be more camouflaged at night, right? And then we also have our hard to see animals, how the ground squirrel has stripes on its back and its head to make it blend in with the grass and how bobcats have brown fur with dark spot spots because the grasses are sometimes brown with dark spots. It blends in where the other animals can't see it, right? So I want you to think about what animals we can find in the prairie or in the grassland habitat. Okay, now we are going to make our drawing as we did yesterday with the plants, but today we're going to be doing it with our animals. All right, guys, so we are now going to add, we're going to do our animal poster for our grasslands. So yesterday we worked on our illustrations and adding in all of those plants and those features that we know that a grassland has, like trees, grasses, holes to go underground for the towns, the prairie potholes, the shallow stream. So now we're going to work on adding some animals into our illustration. And you can either add it into the same illustration or start over. I started over. 
And I went ahead and did a quick illustration of what we did yesterday. But I went ahead and added two animals. And I want to explain my thinking to you. So I remember reading in the book that there was a ground squirrel and it had stripes on its back because it wants to blend in with the grasses. So I drew a ground squirrel with stripes on its back because it blends in with the grasses. And I said, okay, now there's something else that blended in with the grasses. I said, oh, yep, a bobcat. So I drew a bobcat and I said, okay, it was brown, so I used a brown marker. I was like, okay, and then it said it has dark spots. So I put dark spots on it. I said, okay, I said, now that's, that's a bobcat. Now I want you to think, what else can I add? Think about it. What other animals? Let's think about the pothole. What in the story, in the not even the story, in the text, what in the text told you was in the prayer pothole? What was it? Okay, so I heard some, there were some geese. So there's my geese. There's a goose, a goose. And then, yep. So there's that. And then there was a duck. It's gonna look very similar to my geese. And then there were there was an elk. Elks are brown, so I'm gonna grab my brown. And the, Elk is in the water, so I'm not going to draw all of his legs. Because he is inside of the water. But his head sticking out. He's got some... So there's my elk. Color him in. He's cooling off. Right. Okay. Oh. I remember reading. Right when we're talking about grasslands. The first time in the book. There was bison. So I'm going to come in the back. I'm going to draw. A bison. Bison are really big. There's my bison. And then I remember also reading that there are rattlesnakes. So I'm going to come in and draw a rattlesnake. Curled up. There's a rattlesnake. And then I also remember reading that there were eagles. So I'm going to draw an eagle in the sky. Flying. There's its body. There's its wings. Okay, so there's the eagle. The eagles are brown. I'm going to color him in brown with his brown wings. Okay. And he has a yellow beak. Perfect. So I want you to work on adding as many animals that you can think of that were in our informational text to your illustration. And then I want you to go back and work on labeling them. So it's an eagle. And that is a b i s n. It's an eh, elk. Elk. It's a d uh, That is a g goose. And it's a s n ache. <coughs> That's a ground squirrel. And I drew it right next to the hole because remember that goes down to his home. So I drew that over there. This is a 
b a b k at. Okay. So I have all of my animals labeled, and you can draw as many as you need, as you want. And there's butterflies still. I didn't get them in there. I didn't get the prog horn. I didn't get the prairie dog. I didn't get the coyote. There's still a lot of things in here that you could add to your illustrations. But I want to take a moment. I want to think about what we could write about this. So take a moment and think about what could I write about my illustration. Okay, so I think my first sentence is going to be bison, b i s n, and elk, elk, are animals. Found in the grass land habitat. Okay. And my sentence matches my picture because bison right there and elk right there they live in the grassland and I want you to write two sentences so there's my first sentence think about what your next sentence might be so I could say so you could say two different animals you could say a ground squirrel and a snake are animals found in the grassland habitats a duck and a goose are animals found in the grassland habitat Make your own sentence. And then, think, and then tell me one more sentence about it. You could say, some animals only eat plants. Some animals only eat meat. Some animals eat both animals and meat and plants, right? So I want you to tell me two sentences. All right. Have a good day.